but lately it's been kind of shitty because of the dog. <laughs> How long have you had the dog? Uh, I've had her for like a week plus like three days. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. But you, you said you had you have a dog. Are we right? recording, by the way? This is good. This is good stuff. This is how we podcast, baby. Uh, it's, I don't I, know if you're used to it, but we just go right into it. Uh, that's how I used to do it. Yeah, but I interviewed okay. like chess grandmaster, so I had like five thousand views. Okay, that's yeah. you don't have five thousand views anymore. You have a lot of views. That is true. How many views do you have? J- just like the number. Just the number right now. What do you think, honestly? Yeah. What do you think down to the fucking total view count right now? What do you think it is? Like down to the last uh, on my main channel, one billion two hundred eighty five million seven hundred thirty three thousand one hundred forty five. What up? I don't even. What do you mean? You, <laughs> you gotta go, go to, to <laughs> you go to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, you go to dot com slash Gotham Chess. Go to you go to my man Gotham Chess's. Yeah, how do you not know this? I don't know this either. Hit the, hit that yeah. subscribe button real quick. Just yeah, hit that subscribe. <laughs> Got subscribe later. Now I'm uh, now I'm, I'm subscribed to Gotham. Yeah. Check now it's fine. I mean, I should have done it all re- a long time ago. No, it's okay. I you got to go to about. I don't know why it's there. One. What did I say? Two eighty five. Fuck, bro, you are real close. Wow. I just knew one point two. I just assumed. Like I have no idea what my total views are. It could be too much. It could be no, no, no. It could be. It could be two hundred. Hold on. Before you look, it could be two hundred thousand. It could be two hundred million. It could be. It's not one billion. But you're not a YouTuber, right? I mean, at the end, you're you're a streamer mostly. Three hundred million. Those three hundred eighty-eight million. Not bad. Uh, I am not a YouTuber. I started. uh, I mean, I I upload stuff to my YouTube now. That's real weak though. Weak nuts, dude. Fucking 388 million. Gotta get those numbers. Up, I gotta, baby. Uh, but I gotta say, a lot of the, a lot of my numbers are shorts, and also, oh. yeah, and also, I don't do any shorts. Yeah, shorts are an interesting thing. I mean, it's easy for chess because it's hot right now, and also, like, it's much more such fun a, to learn chess in 30 such seconds. Such a fun statement to make. Yeah, chess is hot right chess now. Chess is so hot right now. Did you <laughs> ever think this, that this you would chair. say that? No, no, <laughs> in the streets. Not, no. Chess uh, is hot. Nah, dude, I was um, I was like twelve years old, uh, in and I was in, and I was also in fourth grade. I have two separate stories where, like, I was in school, and you know, my teachers found out I played chess, and so I was like, oh, look at this like golden nerdy boy who plays chess. <laughs> so when I got fourth place in nationals, I got a trophy that was the size of me, which you would think would incentivize kids, and they asked me to bring it in, put it in the principal's office. That was the most embarrassing experience. Like top five of my life, and yeah. I was made fun of. For, you got you know, no pussy for that. <laughs> hey, Chester, I, zero. Yeah, zero. that's like the reverse pussy. Yeah, dude. absolutely. Like, you're like, no, hide this shit, dog. What are you doing? Like everyone knows, I play chess all the time I mean, now. That, you are not exaggerating, and and <laughs> yeah. now it's uh, like all teenagers are playing it now. I mean, it's yeah. Why so do you hot. think chess is hot right now? I like. I don't know the why. That's the that's I the most fascinating. Twitch. Well, there's three reasons, right? Like, there's three booms. There was Queen's Gambit. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was that was Queen's big. Gambit made chess sexy. The noises that came out of your mouth <laughs> when you thought about Queen's Gambit. No, because I was, I, I was trying a, to think of, like, why chess is so hot right now, and he nailed it on the head. No, but Did you watch Queen's Gambit? No, but it's Oh, it was like, sexy. It sounded was like, like you were thinking of Anya Taylor-Joy when you said, oh, Yes, I was yeah. thinking, I was, I was kind of thinking of, <laughs> having carnal knowledge of Anna Taylor Joy because the show is very sexy. Yeah. There's a lot of sex that goes on. What is she doing? She's just playing fucking chess. No, it's what like a she... love triangle, you fuck. Oh, okay. But wait, <laughs> with who though? Who, who's the triangle? The other tri- two chess players. The one who's like all heady and he like looks crunchy like he's in a jam band. Oh. And then like the hardline chess bro. More about the show than Dude, me. He I, he's, he's coming back show. now. He's yeah, like, they beat him a lot as a kid. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, same. <laughs> he but. just retains like weird information. Yeah. But Queen's Gambit was a show that I watched with my girlfriend, kind of thinking I was like, "Oh fuck, Flavor of the Week Netflix show," and I actually really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was viewed by I think close to a hundred million households. Which it if- didn't like chessboards sell out. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I used That's to get such a funny thing. Yeah. To- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, like it, it was funny to you know. I was just sitting around making my my little videos, you know, how to play this opening, how to play that, and, and that was when COVID happened. So yeah. even yeah. COVID was a first push. Like we had pot champs. You know, what is a yeah. queen's gambit? 
it's just an opening. I mean, it's just like Queen's Pawn, they mirror it, and you like move your pawn. Like, move two for white, you can get into a Queen's Gambit. Wow. And so they named the show after Dude, it. because so, he's, he's really bad at chess. I'm even worse. I've, I don't even play. I, that, that's actually one of the things I was excited for the most uh, coming here. Not, yeah. not, not your chess ability, but like, I feel as though uh, I have, you know, I've, I've kind of grown a little bit as a streamer, as a YouTuber. The whole time, obviously, throughout this process, I've, I've known Hassan. I've seen you on, you know, on the screen. I just talked to Toast the other day. And I'm like, I've known about Toast since 2017 because my roommate used to watch a ton of Toast. Yeah. It's kind of like trippy for me to be sitting in front of people now. Like, I used to just kind of see this person on a screen and just assume like everybody else, they're just this digital entity. Uh, and uh, I don't know. I feel as though you were one of the rare exceptions in the last few years. You you never got into a pod champ. I never did. They always, Hikaru was always in my DMs trying really? to get me to <laughs> play chess. <laughs> and I was like, ah, I'm good, dog. I know. You just like, there's, you just don't have. Uh, just not it. Not I know why I don't play chess. Why don't you play chess? My dad is Bad like graphics. A, no, he's like, a, my dad's like a Mensa genius. Oh. And he would just molly wop me in board games when I was a kid. Put up like 10,000 point word scores in Scrabble. Oh, that's fucked. I hate that. Octuple jump me in checkers and just run the fucking trap in chess. And I got beat so bad I forgot the moves up until like a year ago. And then I learned the moves again. Like I know the... Knight does an L, right? Oh, you mean like literally the characters? Like yeah. How they? Okay, <laughs> yeah. I know that. Do you? Yeah. Go ahead. We have to bring a chessboard. Would have had a little, hit me. I don't even one on one. Hit me. What are the moves? What are the moves? Uh, uh, the go fucking through. the castle. But I don't know the names of it because I learned it in Turkish. <laughs> Kale. Yeah. Castle. Yeah, well, so what would it, what would it be like? Rook. The ones. It's, it's rook. It's it rook. looks like okay. a castle, but yeah. so castle rook. On the corners, they yeah. go uh, only parallel. They can go the entire distance of sure, the fucking they, board. They go straight. Pawns can only go uh, double or one sure. in front, or they can eat by going um, diagonal. Diagonally, okay. Um, the vizier is it? Is it? What is that? What, what would that one be? <laughs> You're I don't, so you gotta, fucking. <laughs> you gotta give me the direction. Vizier, uh, the one that goes. The diagonally ah, across ah, the board. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Bishop, 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 bishop. The bishop, yeah. so we call it vi visit. Oh, my God. Uh, you uh, learned in school in, or something? Like, no, like I you grew up here yet. I, you... play, I play chess in Turkey a little bit. Like, when I first learned it, I learned it in Turkey. So I don't, like, fully remember what the names are. You know what I mean? Wh whatever the fucking names are. Because I never even looked at it in America. I didn't even watch uh, Queen's Gambit. <laughs> uh, it, it's, I I'm mean, like anti-chess dog. No, yeah, I'm not, but. I, I mean, I respect it. You know what I mean? I feel like everybody everybody dabbled in recent. At, at some point, I was really worried. And I never campaigned for any streamer to participate. Like, that was my whole thing. I'm sort of a... I'm born and raised in New York City, so I sort of stay out oh, of people's okay. business. Like, I, I'm very... I won't really do a whole lot of outreach uh, except, you know, I was coming here this week for five days. I have like my, I'm ending the week with a friend's wedding and I kind of felt like if I'm here May 2nd, you gotta do it. Like, you know, yeah. Let's get on, uh, on the lot. Let's get on this. So are you a New York sports fan at all? Yeah. Knicks? Of course. That win last night. Don't you wish you came to the Knicks? I, they didn't have Jimmy Butler and I feel like, okay. yeah, you know, that's uh, true. I went to game one <laughs> and I watched Jimmy, you know, Jimmy Butler absolutely fuck the Knicks <laughs> and, and Kyle Lowry too. Um, I, what I did learn throughout this process, this was a, I made this joke on a Twitch stream, so I'm going to bring it here too. Uh, I learned that the closer you sit to the court and the more you pay per ticket, the better the fans behave around you. Mm. So I, uh, my, my, I, I took uh, my wife and my in-laws, they were visiting the US and we went to game one versus the Cavs. Sure. Right? And we sat in the second deck because we had four seats. They're like 650 a pop. Um, we sat next to these five mega frat bros like Staten <laughs> Island, New York. Every fucking point they stood. And like my in-laws can't see the court. I can't see the court. I can like do this. And they're slapping oh. each other like this every point. And they're on fantasy. I think fantasy ruins sports. I don't think that's a hot take. Yes. It ruins sports. I love that. What do you mean fantasy okay. ruins sports? It ruins We're sports. We're 100% hot take. moving into that. Okay. <laughs> it's not even fantasy. It's gambling. That's yeah, because us usually fantasy is just like the legalized way of gambling. Yeah, when you're uh, doing any kind of like sports betting, and I 100. percent I'm not even like I don't even have a big dog in this fight either. Like I don't really watch a there, lot of sports. In there's general. a hard line rule to fantasy sports. Don't do fantasy sports with a team you're a fan of. I don't. Yeah, I don't think anybody. I, let me say these dudes sitting around me did not follow that. They, no, they were like they every every point like yo, I got Mitchell Robinson four free throws, bro. <laughs> Let's go, Mitch. Like. 
<laughs> yeah. Bro, shut up. Just let him take yeah, the free throws. Dude. Like, <laughs> relax. Yeah, yeah. dude. They're uh, doing like. If he bets. makes the first three point of the half, I win ten bucks. Yeah, Let's like. Go. Yeah. The, the, yeah, when you're prop betting, you know you're in the oh, fucking yeah, gutter. Oh, yeah, you're in trouble. You're, you're in, in the trouble. gutter. It, prop betting for your own team? That's, that's fucked up. <laughs> anyway, but that's what I mean. I, like, all these fucking, all these leagues are now basically aligning with uh, the, the the cash cow that is, like, DraftKings. And, yep. Have and we seen... They're doing so much gambling. Any it's sports crazy. betting on chess yet? Yeah, that's a big one. Uh that has been a big question the last couple of years. Like, when are we going to get... Because you could do results of yeah. games. Uh, you could do, like, Can we get what count. they open with? Uh, well, <laughs> actually, Magnus. So, like, I mean, former yeah. world champ. He stepped away. But he's kind of, like, the biggest competitive ambassador for the game. He just launched something where you can bet on the utility of pieces. So, like, X moves of the bishop in a game. Dog. Fantasy. So that is so <laughs> prop betting on is chess the most, is the ultimate is the, degenerate shit. That is the yep. most chess way of doing it. It's not even like oh, Jesus. It's not even oh, like man. how do you win? It's like what percentage utility will will e- either either character have. That's so well, awesome. You know, chess also got uh, a wave of like these sponsors that were a bit controversial. So Magnus oh, was, yeah. you know, he 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 was sponsored by Unibet. I mean, obviously everybody knows Unibet. He had a MasterCard sponsor. He was like the first chess chess player to get these, you know, enormous sponsors like Puma. That's that's sick because if you look at any world championship of chess, yeah. The sponsor list, you Nobody knows what any of the sponsors are. I mean, you guys so, get like watches, right? Don't you get like tag hewer and stuff? No, 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 no. No, oh, that's no, just no. F1. We have nothing. I mean, uh, that's my bad. So no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. but, no these guys Jer- are nerds, dog. They're not doing Formula One. What do you mean? Exactly. That was. I mean, but that's like literally what. And what's the series Formula One puts out behind the scenes? What's oh, Drive to Survive. Drive to Survive. Yeah, that series gets a lot of non Formula One fans into it because there's oh a lot yeah of drama. There's a lot of. I actually watched. One of the snippets last night for the first time on my stream where a guy went through a guardrail at like 180 miles per hour and the car explodes in flame and you see him like trying to crawl through the guardrail and you're like, there's no way this human being lives. But apparently like the way that they're designed now in their heat suits, he comes out and he's like 100% fine. And it it was one of the most mind-blowing clips I've ever watched. That's fucking, that's sick. Yeah, yeah awesome. see, well, chess will never have anything even, like how do you even. <laughs> what do you mean? No, light, light. <laughs> Go like, to a tournament, like you light playing with a hand fire. cramp, like uh. yeah. I mean, like you know, they're gonna finish the game, come out like the closest we got to raw, you know, controversial display of emotion. The world championship just yeah. ended. Yeah. Guy lost, and in the background, you could see he was about to slam a thermos, and then he didn't. You don't have any fist kinda, fights in chess. Oh, we had chess boxing, but other than that, no. I mean, we've had you know a couple dramas here and there, but nobody. You'd really... be banned forever if you threw a punch, probably. That's chess. A good question. I don't think so. I think they no ban you way. for like five years. I don't. I don't think two the, years. Two years, bro. Yeah. The the fucking real drama in the chess community <laughs> is like every legendary chess guy ultimately becomes like a fucking crank. Like yeah, like I crank. thought you were gonna say crackhead, <laughs> but no, I'll take crank. <laughs> no, like nine eleven was an inside job. <laughs> Jews control the media type motherfuckers. Um, you know what I mean? Jesus. I was at a little event yesterday, uh, like a little corporate thing, and uh, some guy walked up, and you know he was like, "Oh man, you're gonna be the next Bobby Fischer." I was like, "I hope not." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, that's no. Yeah. <laughs> like to the normies, they're like, "Oh yeah, that's like the chess guy, right?" Yeah, but dude, like. It's but like if you, you know, if you dig a little bit deeper, like, oh no, what happened? Yeah, it's a shame that our goat debate comes down to Kasparov, Carlson, Fisher, because I'm like, do like five minutes of reading on Fisher, and you're like, how the, how is this man still considered like part it, of the goat? It kind of it makes sense though, because like you know these guys have dedicated their whole fucking lives to chess. You know what I mean? There's that saying. And then you yes. find out a computer can fucking own you a little bit. Like I'd be pissed off. Yeah, so Especially, that happened in their lifetimes, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it the first time a computer beat like the goat was 1997. So they've yeah. been better than us since around that time. But we, well, I mean, we they don't got, care. They got robots that can shoot basketballs now. Bro, it's not the same. Every field has. If like, they let that robot play in a game, he would smash. No. You just bleed him at half well, court. How are you well, gonna cover him? Are you gonna put a player on him? The yeah. entire <laughs> Nah, dude. Well, Come they're on. working like they're working on making robots have human mode. Like there's labs as we speak. Yeah, where all they do all day is Disney Imagineers. They made Spider Man, dude. Did they? Oh, you haven't seen this, like Billy? A... Billy, pull this, pull this up, Billy Rave Brains. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, they uh, the this dude, guy loves robots. Every I, I'm episode, a big he's robot like, guy. I was on Lex Fridman. His Every, whole house is full of robots. Yeah, that's why. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, his whole house. Yeah, he's, he's that a was big it. Robotics. That was it. That's it right there. They made a so they made like a robot. That's how it started. They started. I know this whole thing without words. You can turn the volume off. That's the brick that they started with. That right. was a, a small robot that could basically tell where it was in relation to the ground while it was flying through the air. The that was the second thing iteration. I've ever seen that's Will. the first bend. And then boom, that's Spider Man. And they put him in a costume and he flies through the air at one of their theme parks. Like, that's awesome. Wait, that's not a human? That's not a human. That's a robot? That's the Spider-Man bot. And they put him in a costume, and then they make him do tricks. Oh, yeah, dude. NBA is fucked. Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah. that's what I'm saying. Oh, the NBA God. is fucked, I think bro. there's obviously a little bit more subtle movements, yeah. but... That that thing is... It's a one-off. It's just like... It hinges. Yeah, that's, that's true. Like, Hassan! How much- you are looking at the gift of Spider-Man flight, and you're saying that's a one-off? No, I mean like... that. Okay. In order for artificial intelligence and robotics to get to the fucking level of like being able to defeat LeBron James in the same way that a computer can handily defeat a chess player, the best chess player on the planet, you have at least like, I would say, in the most most liberal estimate, at least a, a, a good 15 years. Of I think you're wrong. I think they could make it right now. Boston Dynamics is the closest you can get to autonomous robots. If you make a robot that doesn't move. Are we talking one-on-one or five-on-five? I'm talking five-on-five. No, I don't think so. I I think because... He's just saying... He's saying there's a robot that's like a shot cannon. And they put it at half. Yes! And it makes every They have it! Oh, I see. Okay, but... They pull him up. Pull up the basketball (laughs) robot. I see what you mean. His name is Basketbot. (laughs) There he is! Why are you so knowledgeable on the robotics? It's so weird. I like robots. You really do. I really do. He no, like he, every episode he brings like a new robot that's like very look, lifelike. Look, look, look at the form. He's even got the flick in the background. Look, you just load this motherfucker. Toyota. All right, let's see. Anywhere on the court, bang. Automatic. It's automatic. On guard. Well, well, it well, hold up, hold up. Wait, but what about when a guy's playing defense? It's gonna. That's what I'm saying. How do you? Okay. If you leave him at like mid court, why am I leaving him though? Shooting threes. Oh, you're he's gonna, dribbling up. You're gonna dedicate a player to play. To just yes. stand on I'm the. I'm gonna have a robot too. Like, Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. No, but you're right. I, I... bang, bang, yes, bang. I would cook this bang. robot, bro. I'm bang. Fucking... I crossed Bang. this robot's bitch ass up. You don't even understand. Look at his dude. shoes. Well, here's, what, <laughs> yeah. here's what I think. What's I fucking stuff? unplug his shit, dog. What's he gonna do then? Nothing. That's true. No, I was going to say, I think there's fields where it, like, it won't matter that a robot is better than all human. Yes. Like, it just won't matter. Yeah. We're still going to play, you know, play basketball. We're still going to do this stuff. Uh, but some, some fields, it's an actual existential threat. For the first time in my life, like the last four years, I've just thought about how to make board game content. But I had like an existential conversation about chat GPT. That shit is a problem. Like yeah. that's going to put, that, that has the potential to get, you know, run tens of thousands, if not hundreds, if not millions of people out of just grunt work jobs, paralegals, yeah. Yeah. data science. There's currently an ongoing uh, strike that's happening with the Writers Guild of America. Aren't you a fucking Writers Guild of America? I'm in the Writers Guild of America. Why don't you go fucking take it, dog? I'm here. Okay. <laughs> After Every this, other though. host bailed. We have two other hosts. That's true. We do have two other hosts. It's We're, not about you, though, because one of them is sick and the other one doesn't live here. I see. Um, Cutie? Well, actually, host? neither of them live here. <laughs> Let's be real. That's one true. of them lives basically That's in fucking true. Nevada. The other one lives in Oregon. Oh. That's true. Yeah. I see. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's a, uh, the Writers Guild of America is currently on strike. I'm not the best Writers Guild member. One of the, one of the reasons is literally that they went to the Motion Picture Association and said, we don't want you to have AI do rewrites on our scripts. Because, like, can you imagine? You're like a fucking yeah. seasoned writer. And then some studio executives like, I ran this through chat GPT. Can and I, these are the rewrites. Can I give you the real reason? What? It, the rewrite thing, the reason that they're upset is, is less of the existential crisis and more that rewrites are something that a lot of oh, yeah. WGA members have baked into their contracts. Yeah, yeah. And you will get like um, a successive payday from that. So like- Oh, for sure. I'm just saying yeah. that like they're- it, for, On the producer end, 
if in the hands of like business owners, we don't do any politics on this podcast, by the way, this is the maximum amount of politics we're going to do. <laughs> all right. But if left to the hands of the business owners, all technological improvements will always be utilized to improve efficiency. Mm -hmm. What do I mean by that? It's not actual efficiency in the same way that you and I understand it. Right. Um, I, what I mean by efficiency is the business terms, like as in improve profit margins. Sure. So that means they can get, you know, uh, three guys' labor out of one guy if they have chat GPT. And that's basically at the heart of this problem with, with respect to AI. If the workers themselves controlled AI and they were utilizing it, then they could greatly improve their own uh, you know, workplace standards yeah, yeah. if they wanted to. That's the main issue with AI. I don't I don't necessarily I'm not anti AI. Mm -hmm. Um but I do know for a fact that AI, just like any matter of technological improvements, will be used to, you know, kick workers off. I I just I look at AI right now and I this one? Brew one with the oat milk. But do you want that one? I don't know. Do you want that? I, I thought it was yours. You always get oat I get milk. two for myself. What? No. no. Okay. Yeah, do you I, want one? Yeah. AI is so interesting because, like, we are at the crest of a roller coaster. And, like, what we're going to get out of AI is, I think, so beyond what we can fathom or different than we can fathom. And the next, like, 10 years are going to be wild. I've I decided after some careful consideration. I think I'm probably anti uh, Chat GPT because mm. I feel like we are fueling an all knowing brain. We are actually creating God, and that's weird. Do you think that maybe it's it's time for us to relinquish control and give it to just, something? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I, I think I, I the just, era of man has sucked. I think we by and large suck. That's a good point. We've proven that we're terrible. Yeah. And, you know, like, ultimately, you know, a few outliers who are good, like myself, don't justify human race being in control anymore, man. Let's pass it off, right? To our robot overlords, right, Fucking Hassan? Jaeger is God, bro. <laughs> Listen, Aaron Jaeger did nothing wrong. Dude, you're crazy. Okay. Um, do I think AI is, like, uh, going to take over mankind? Um. Probably not. I think that the the same scumbag human beings that have all the power and control right now will weaponize AI to. But what if they didn't? To control mankind. Yeah, that's probably true. That's what I think. What, what do you mean? What if they didn't? But I'm just saying, like, what if Skynet becomes self aware? Oh, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I think it would be interesting. Would you be that upset? If robots took over humanity. Yeah, because I like enjoying things. You know what I mean? And I feel like robots would be like, no, dude, you can't. But what if especially, robots, especially robots, especially depending what if on robots what? give you like a perfect cat, like communism utopia where they're like, we're going to do everything. You live in your box. <laughs> we'll give you a TV and the internet. Oh, but, and that's all you get. No, and we've tasted, the we've tasted freedom, right? That like, does sound it, great. But I'll say it like this. Yeah. Robots are rational. When I think about robots or like they're, they, they have like a built in logical system to operate off of. Right. When I think of robots, I think of my grandfather. My grandfather is an engineer. Okay. Doesn't do it anymore, but he has an engineer's brain. And I don't even mean like Murat. Murat has an engineer's brain. My brother, he builds uh, satellite spaceships for Boeing. Um, my grandfather is is very stern man he was always a very stern man the way i describe it is like we'd be driving down to go a, and and get food at a restaurant and we'd pass a restaurant closer to the house mm -hmm. to go to a different restaurant because we want let's say burgers that night he would point to that restaurant and go what do you mean there's a restaurant right here this this is like closer to the house why don't we go to this restaurant what i mean by that is for him it was like food is sustenance we, we need to maximize efficiency. Why aren't we going to the restaurant that's like right next to the house? Yeah. Why are we going to a restaurant that's even further away? I fear that a world run by yeah. code would basically resemble that. And humans are imperfect. That's what, what if, makes us. Uh, all right. Fun here's here's awesome. what I say. Hypothetical. What if well, robots created utopia for us? Right. You can do anything you want. The only rule is you can't reproduce. What? <laughs> can I fuck still though? <laughs> No, because it's Oh, too what the fuck? No, I don't <laughs> you want could, that. You could fuck a robot. 
You just <laughs> you just can't reproduce. You, you can't. No, risk. no, I no. I, I so guess what? Human. You're a Jaegerist. I just got you. Oh, god. you'd revolt against the robots, wouldn't you? Oh my god! Oh, I sprang the trap. Time. The I entire sp- time. Okay, but it's it's the tools of how you fight mm, back against sure. your oppressors. That oh, makes. yeah, you'd be peaceful you, fighting you, against you, the robot we overlords. Did, okay. we're, we're leaving our, our guest out I'm of sorry. No, I was, I was, I was uh, ready to get in there with a joke. He, uh, you asked me before we went live if I've watched any Attack on Titan. Yeah. I watched about one and a half seasons, so I'm very out of loop. But I, I, uh, yeah. I told Will, my, my friend spoiled it for me by yeah. telling oh. me everything about the manga. So Okay, well, I don't know what is going to happen. I haven't. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. Is it over? I think it's there's the, one season left. The, there's half season. It's the it's the last last seven. season part three. <laughs> so what happened is it's really good IP. So it it slapped. So uh-huh, they yeah. decided that like the last season will be like eight seasons. Yeah, <laughs> they have literally been milking this last season for like five seasons. O- over a year now. Yeah, over a year. They keep saying they keep saying last season. Part one, the part finale two. of the last season, part two. Like they, they just keep extending it. What I feel like is it an American based? Uh, it's not an American based studio, no, right? No, well, that's probably no, no, what no, no, I feel no. like. It's if like here you said super. final, you can get like sued or something. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? You said final three times. I'm gonna file a lawsuit. You Emotional can't damage. Do like, this. I think I think the Japanese people are playing along because they like it. They, they yeah, really I, like I, the the uh, anime. What shit do you nerd for other than chess? Oh, that's a good question. It, it's funny. I don't consume a huge amount of uh, of content. I mean, okay, I am a complete nerd about this one skill that I developed when I was a kid. I can uh-huh. basically walk by any car and tell you what car it is just on its tail light. This is my special. Yeah, like for the most part. Billy Rave Brains, I need you to covertly pull up the <laughs> back of a car. And put it on that screen. All right, let, let's, you know, don't make it like a Whoa. Renault or a... No, yeah, we, have to, we have to do crazy. If you try to... Uh, yeah. We're going to try and stump Wait, you. Wait, did you also... Okay, did you also think as a kid that, like, cars have faces? Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. I feel like... You don't know... You don't feel this you, way? You don't know this? Yeah, all cars Dude, have faces. all cars have faces. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Now I got someone who's... Yeah. What the this. fuck are you talking about? When I, I was know, a kid, got... I would look at cars and be like, oh, that's a sad car. That's a happy car. Yeah, All cars course. have faces. Yeah, every car has like a face. Every car has a face. Maybe, uh, maybe after we do this quiz, we'll do the front of these cars and you'll be like, oh, you, you see what I'm talking about? Like some cars look intense. So you, you know? were doing... Yeah. Pixar cars before Pixar cars. I have I always, guess, yeah, I, I have always looked at cars and thought it's so odd that every car has a face and no one is like saying anything about it. That's fascinating. You just that like you unlock the experience. You unlock the yeah. core memory in my brain just now. Yeah, the other the other stuff I, I don't really nerd out for much. Like I I can't really because I do content all the time. I'll throw on like a Twitch stream for background noise. But um, I, I mean I'm into like basketball, MMA. Mm. I've watched mixed martial arts for I don't know 15 years. So you're a sport guy and you're a car guy. Yeah. What's your daily driver? Uh, what does that mean? What do you What do you drive? You drive I'm, I'm in New York. I don't. We don't, have, we don't have cars in New oh, York. Yeah, You're a car everywhere. guy and you don't have a car. I mean, there's nowhere to park it. I don't that's have a driveway. True. <laughs> that's true. No, it's a listen. You I live love in driving. A... When I come out to LA, like I, I really enjoy it, except when there's traffic. Uh, what, do you, what do you rent when you come out here? This is my first time renting a car here, so it's very unimpressive. What did you Just rent? Got a compact Enterprise Kia Soul. Oh, no. I got. Oh, dude. oh, no. So, what are you doing? Well, I didn't know what else to do. So we got to do a, go a to like, fear and takes Gotham chess to the track. Let's take you to a racetrack and let you drive some dumb stuff. My wife is getting me like a birthday present where I can drive like a Ferrari around the racetrack. That's awesome. Um, she, she already, yeah, we're clapping. My birthday's in December though, so I got time. Uh, Subaru. Or, no. It's not a Subaru? I don't think so, but I've, I've fucking... But I, I don't have the skill. You do. Got the gift. I think it's a Subaru. Oh. Okay, his gift is gone. Yeah, you didn't it's even gone. show it, March. You, you didn't even show it on give me Give me five. I'll either redeem myself oh or... Oh, my uh, God. That one was tricky. Yeah, pull up a Subaru headlight. Pull up a Subaru headlight. You'll see. You'll see. Pull up like a Subaru taillight. legacy taillight. Yeah, taillight. Subaru legacy taillight. See, I'm not crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy. Yeah, like the one on the left. That's the Camry, dog. 
Or wait, oh, no, on the not, left there. No, no, no. You see, it's like oh, it, it, it's. Oh, right. it's that's not very bad. close. Mark, see? show it on camera. That's and you like how I knew it was a legacy too. Mm, <laughs> okay, that's you, you actually very close. Wait, that that one looks like a Camry too, though, what, doesn't it? The the 2015-2019 Subaru Legacy taillight. It taillight alone doesn't that kind of look like a Camry from the back? Am I crazy? All right, let's I mean, see Camry from the back. Toyota Camry. I don't know. I mean, I have a Toyota Camry, and I might be wrong on this. I have no dog in this fight. You know I'm what I was expecting kidding. you to say when I asked you if you nerd on, on uh -huh. anything else? Uh, old, Batman. Old, older. Your oh. Gotham chest. Yeah, but I didn't name myself that because of Batman. You're fucking kidding me. I named myself that because I'm in New York, and it turns out Gotham is based on Chicago. I was like, oh, well, you know, what, what do I... Also, you got to remember, I had like... I didn't even have a YouTube page. I just had a Twitch stream. I never even thought this was going to be my career, so in hindsight, I would name myself something different, probably. Yeah. But, uh, Manhattan no. chess. No, just I don't. I would have even just been me. But now when people recognize <laughs> me, me chess. Yeah, no, they, they're like, "Yo, Gotham!" Like people don't know my name. It's very funny. They, Gotham is a sick thing to be called, though, man. Until yeah. until they sue me, but hopefully not. I have like, no, don't no. worry. It's not a Nintendo. So, it's not a Nintendo product. Yes, so many companies yes. use Gotham. Yeah. Like like even the Jets, the New York Jets, who I'm yeah. a huge fan of, they call themselves Gotham City Football Club a lot. Really? Yeah. Shit. Also, you guys have Rogers now, right? Is that done? That's done officially. That's done. Yeah, he was at. He was you at. Hear game that? One. Hear that? I have do. you burned your Vax card yet? He burned his what? Vax card. <laughs> well, I'm a I'm a, I'm a Jets fan, he's so Jets in solidarity. Fan. I've yeah. What? He burned his Vax card. Well, he's inoculated. He converted to Islam. He reverted to Islam when That's right. when the Jets coach was was Muslim. Yeah. I didn't. Well, I didn't. I didn't He's burn a big it. Stand. I, the only reason I haven't burned it, it looks like my card survived like a nuclear. I mean, it's like all. No, <laughs> I don't even know dude, how people dude, still use Vax. Dude, 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 dude. It, it, it's bad. I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna name any names. But in the last even six months, like it's 2023, I've been asked if I'm if I can show proof of the third Vax and if I can bring my Vax card to get into a building Wait, of like wow. you, five thousand people. Brother, wow. you 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 need to get it on your Apple. Uh, like you need to get it on your Apple wallet. That's what I have. But, no, but. Like, why do we even show this stuff anymore? Like, I don't know. Yeah, no, no, one, I, no one's wearing a mask anywhere. Like, what are, yeah. what are they doing? There's buildings in New York that won't let you in unless you show three vaccines. And I did not know <laughs> that. But, I, I mean, I do it for travel, right? Like, because, like, if you go to Japan, you need to ha make sure that you have had your third inoculation and, like, all that stuff. It's super simple if you have it on your Apple ID. That's what I okay. have. I don't know where the fuck my Vax card is. I don't. I think I had it when I first got my vaccine. And then that's it. I like uh, lost it. No, no. I recently to go into like a, a studio to record a thing. They wanted me to upload my, a photo of my card. And it I realized is, it is pretty funny though, because at this point, like, like this isn't. It's like weird to admit this, but you know the the people fucking died already. You know what I mean? Like uh, it's true. You either had COVID or you got uh, vaccinated and then got COVID, so you're like omega protected. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And at that point, it like. The fatality rate basically resembles like the common cold. You know what I mean? If you are in some ways, in and the you're words so of, canceled. In the words of Aaron Rodgers, in some way immunized. Listen, <laughs> the the normal person in me thinks what you're saying is disgusting, but the Aaron Rodgers fan in me, <laughs> dap that shit up, bro. I mean, what I'm talking about that. is like, welcome to the Jets, yeah, I'll, brother. I'll, I'll tell you, like my grandparents, right? They're they're in their 70s. Uh, they got vaccinated when it first came out, April yeah. 2021. They like made the whole, you know, they pushed for the whole family to do it, and they're they're Republican. Like, yeah. oh, I know we're not getting into politics. Like, they're Republican. Yeah. They fully believe the science. They're both like Soviet Union physicists, so they got the two shots. They even got the third shot, and then at some point, late 2022, like. They're like, what What the fuck is this? Like, we're not getting a fourth. We're not getting a fifth. Yeah. We want COVID at this point. Yeah, we're done with this. And they, 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 went, they, they started traveling. It? Have they dodged it completely or did they get COVID? They've been sick here and there. I don't know. I mean, the truth my, is. Because, like, my grandparents were super careful. They got COVID uh, and they survived it. And my grandfather's, like, really, I mean, he's the oldest. Dude, fuck. My, that was my experience. My dad's in his 90s. Okay. And during, like, the early days of COVID, I was so diligent about everything. Oh, dude, me man. too. Like I, I was, uh, yeah, meticulous. And my dad got COVID, and the motherfucker didn't even, like, he would walk through it. He's like, yeah, I feel fine. I'm he got vaccinated, though, right? I'm a little congested. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. I so think I'm a little like, congested. But like, I'm sure it helped. Like, I, I'm sure it helped. Oh, yeah. I think so. 100%. I, yeah, I, that, I agree that with is that. the one part where I'm like, dude. No, I'm just that saying shit was my, so fire. my fear. Of oh, COVID, yeah. of course. Changed after oh yeah, like my it, dad got dude, it. Dude, I, I remember my my wife and I would go out like only 9 p.m., fully masked. 
to the store. Yeah, that's come back, yes. wash hands and yeah. shit, like get under the nails bro, and shit. Bro, did like, you ever do the fucking washing your groceries thing? What do you mean? Okay, some people would like. So wipe when it down first their... came out, when when like when all of this stuff was first coming out, there's a lot of junk science out there. A lot of people yeah. who are like trying to fucking make a living for themselves by. Being like overprotective of what they, to do. Dude, at one point they, they were, were saying like, you they, they were wash saying your... COVID germs were like green beret. Like, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. They were it, saying it could live on a surface the, for eighteen yeah, hours. Yeah, the fomide, uh, yeah. which by the way we now know is like not even the case. <laughs> yeah, but, like, but everyone was like, oh, it's fomide, it's fomide. Like, you can't contact. Like, you can get it off of a surface, yep. whatever. Um, and it's just like aerosol is what we now know. Yep. You know what I mean? It's all br- fucking breathing, but. Um, because of that, they were like, you got to wash your groceries. Mm-hmm. You got to wash your Postmates. I literally, when I saw that, I was like, nah, I'll die. Wow. <laughs> I was, yeah. like, Dude, I was like, nah. <laughs> nah, you're bringing up, you're bringing up, oh my God, that's not, not a core memory. I remember my grandma being like, don't get cans. Don't get canned soda. They're saying on Yahoo News that canned soda got COVID around the thing. And if you pull it, oh, yeah. and I was like, Grandma, if I get COVID like that, I fucking deserve it. Like, yeah. I don't know what to it tell you. It uses the carbonation yeah. like, to attack you know what I mean? your face. No, everybody I was, like, was so done. scared. Everybody I'm dead. Was, I'm dead. Just, Kill me. <laughs> so I think I think like 90% of people were just like my grandparents. Like, oh my God, we got to be super diligent. And then like yeah. a year and a half goes by, you're like, no, I was there, no, man. I think, like, uh, we were living in LA. LA was I, I, like I New York. Tell, yeah, we we cracked you know. down the hardest. Yeah, I, I try and tell people, curfews. <laughs> the cities. If you were in a city, COVID COVID was different from cities. Yeah, my experience in in Los Angeles proper versus my parents' experience in like Pinehurst, North Carolina, were totally different. Yeah, yeah. Which is funny though, because like all the people that don't live in cities. We're constantly talking about how locked down they are. I'm like, bro, you never had anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you're in Alabama, dog. You don't even have neighbors. What are you talking about? We had to move our tea time. <laughs> no, they, got like, they got like noise curfews. You know, you can't fly planes over certain small towns. I just learned this recently. Like, by 5 p.m., no planes. Like, he was but, trying to fly a plane over yeah. a small town. <laughs> yeah, like, I, uh, it was a wild time. Yeah, I look back. Like, you could walk in New York City, and there was just nothing. It was kind of cool. It was, yeah, it was in cool, a weird yeah. way. Like LA was so fucking empty. You know what? I, I'm gonna give you a free content idea. I don't know why this just came to me. You should play chess against someone in the back of a race car. Okay, that'd be so hype. I want to play. I want to do a series where I play devices. Like I want to play a Tesla. I played an airplane. I beat the what airplane. Do you, what do you mean you played an airplane? Like like uh, every. So what they do now is they make like a gadget. I mean, in this case, a plane, and they you know they put like a chess bot into it. To, oh. to play, it's not exactly the plane like being AI. I AI, love but, that. But, uh, Did you beat the plane? I beat the plane, but I I played a treadmill once and it fucked me up. <laughs> like I was on a treadmill at a chess tournament in Texas and I was bored and yeah. I, you know I was like jogging and and I was like in my cool down I'm like oh it's got chess cool let me play this stupid and, and like it, it kicked my ass. Did you film it? Did you put no, it on like I the hardest like, was, difficulty or was it just cracked? I don't even know. This I don't remember. I just remember I played this fucking treadmill and it was like murder. I'm like. What the fuck is going on? Like, this is ridiculous. That is incredible. So, like, you could probably play a fridge now. You could play, like, a toaster. I mean, you could, like, MacBook? I'll lose every time. I like that as a a concept. Yeah. I wonder who the best chess gadget is. It's got to be that treadmill. Well, it's probably whichever computer has the, you know. You don't believe that there's any, like, you know, fighting spirit? Maybe it's just got chops? No, one is just, like automatically destroys everyone. The one, the, the, the chess bot that we're talking about yeah. is like, um, is there any way mm-hmm. that we can have that treadmill play against deep blue? Like the chess. I don't know if they were like retired deep blue or, but yeah, at the end of the day, it's all just, God, I would love bots. to watch robots fight different, different, Chess yeah. bots. You love robots, bro. It's <laughs> weird. So in. No, I, I so... like I like battle bots. I like when they just yeah beat the shit out of each other. That's pretty cool. I God, feel like those should come back. See, that's why I'm like not afraid <laughs> of the robotic uprising. Those battle bots are bitch asses, dude. What? Yeah, I'd fucking <laughs> kick one. Hassan, on a it. battle bot would fuck you up beyond all recognition. You're out of your mind. What are you talking? They, they, they are. They have rotating saw blades. Yeah, give me. What a, do you do? Give me a sledgehammer. So, oh, stop. <laughs> one, one like Zweihander. One, uh, oh, one Zwe- oh, Zweihander. Yeah, you're or, gonna Zweihander. Yeah, if, you, if, you, if you miss, you gotta whatever, hit it. <laughs> whatever, dude. I'll fucking run away. Dude, from and it. you're talking about like the pro sumer models. Have you ever seen any of like the American gladiator bots that they had to like defend the dome? Well. 
like American military probably has some crazy ass shit, right? Like that's yeah. I mean, guys, we pay some big taxes here. Boston like gotta, Dynamics uh, has uh, basically Boston Dynamics. Boston Dynamics is at the at the cutting edge of this. Okay, right. they did the dog. Then they immediately put weapons on the dog. By the way, not Boston Dynamics, but like someone else was like, "Oh, great idea! Let's put a fucking gun on it." Um, you know, what I just realized what you're anti-bot. I fuck up a bot. Dude. You're anti-bot. I just realized this. I, you're you you're part of your obsession with my fascination with robots is that you're on the other side of the fence. Maybe it's because my brother fucking built like both battle bots and just robots in general his whole goddamn life, and I just have a distaste for it. I That's crazy. Know. How how do you feel about bots? I don't mind bots. I don't mind. I mean, I don't. You're have- neutral. I just don't, I, yeah, I just choose not wow, to he said, he, care too much. He said neutrality. You guys connected about fucking car faces okay. and I can't get anybody to get into robots with well, it? Well, let, let, me, let, me exp- let me explain. In chess, in chess, bots have been better than humans for 25 years. We just live in harmony with them. Like, they help mm-hmm. us get better at chess. Okay. We don't, we don't give a shit that they're better than us. Yeah. They don't threaten us in any way. In fact, I farm bots for content constantly. Like, we mm-hmm. just finished this thing called T-Sec, which is like computer chess championship. Like, the two best bots in the world played. So I just, I use that for a YouTube video. Everybody has a good laugh because nobody understands bot games. They're fucking like, you know, supernatural level and they see 20 moves ahead and they make some ridiculous move and you're like, what? And then 20 moves later, it shows you the point. So in chess, we will live in, har- in harmony <laughs> yeah. with our AI overlords. I, um, I, I want to I wanna bring this up. This is not necessarily about robots, but this is about your content. Okay. Part of the reason why I was like, oh, Gotham Chess, like, let's have him on the show. Let's have him on the podcast is because I'm an old man. Okay. And as an old man, I do market research just like all these, like, marketing executives do by talking to my younger relatives. Uh, and I always check in with Pro, Jinx's uh, son, my cousin, yep. like 14 now. I always check in with him. I'm like, who, do, who are you watching? He really likes to play Madden, which I think is, you know, that's shitty. It's Jake's Not FIFA. Fault. Uh, What's wrong with Madden? Dude, Madden sucks. I want him to play, like, I bought him fucking Breath of the Wild and a, and a Nintendo Switch and, like, Amiibos or whatever the fuck they're called and, like, so many, like, sick-ass uh, things to, like, get him excited about, like, playing, like, a massive real, uh, RPG game. Uh, and he was just like, nah, I like Madden. He's a jock. He's like a gamer jock. What else does he like besides Madden? Anyway, but the point I'm, I'm I was going to make, the, the yeah. Big plot twist. yeah, the plot twist is uh, back in the day when he was a little bit younger, he was like, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, I watch Mr. Beast all the time. He still does, obviously, Mr. Beast for the whole family. But out of nowhere, apparently he likes playing chess a lot. And I was like, wow, you, you, you play chess? Like, what's, what's going on with that? Um, and so I asked him, who do you watch? And he Just said, me. Gotham Chess. Damn. He watches a lot of your videos, and he's 14 years old. I mean, that's like, you know, those little shits are the, the, the backbone of the, well, the big, algo. Well, they're bigger than me. They're not bigger than you, probably. But physically, like, I have a 16-year-old brother. He's 6'1". Bro, really? <laughs> yeah, no, 14-year-old, like I mean, uh, pro is, is tiny. But uh, <laughs> for now. For now. But my point is, um, you know, chess is popping off, and you've played a big role in that on online. From what I understand. I mean, you're, you're one of the largest, if not the largest chess content creator. By far. Yeah. But. Put some respect. I mean, come on. Yeah. yeah Look my ass off. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I'm Put just some saying. respect on his name. I don't want to, I don't want to like, you know. Uh, content creator. Else. Not, content creator, not yeah. competitor. Like, I'm not going to, you know, mix cross Like, Hikaru, Magnus. Like, they're, they play chess for real, for real. Yeah. yeah. I, I can't play. I'm, well, I'm kind no, of a you bitch. Got <laughs> you got B-by treadmill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although, in my defense, it would have fucked them up too, probably. But, uh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I could tell you a bit more about it. Like, did he get into chess recently? Uh, yeah, like, uh, like a year ago. A year ago. Yeah, I think. So December 2022, January 2023. Uh, it took me 18 months to go from 1 to 2 million on YouTube. It uh-huh. took me 40 days to go to 3 million. Uh, what? In the month of January, my YouTube channel had 300 million views. That's crazy. And if you combine TikTok and Instagram, it was all shorts. Like, it was literally just... Yo, here's how to win a chess game in six moves. Here's like this trick. Here's this concept. Here's this. And um, I never thought much of short form content because it's like, you can't monetize. Like, what am I doing? Why am I screaming into a camera, like chopping it up? Um, And then finally, I just like sat my ass down and I realized I can write 10 scripts. By the way, you can, okay, it might not be like of interest, but you can summarize a lot of the streams of world news in 30 seconds 
those TikToks are fucking fire. I get them from these random people. Mm. They start with like, you know, powerful hook. Like you gotta like pay attention to what's going on today between US and China. And I'm like, oh yeah, I do. Yeah. And then they tell me everything in 20 seconds. I'm like, damn, that's bad or can, that's good. Can you summarize um, the Israeli-Palestinian situation in 30 <laughs> seconds, please? We'll, we'll, just do a yeah. little, we'll just do a little sample. Go ahead, 30 Ch seconds. Chess, yeah. chess, hey, Billy Ray no Brains, pull up a clock. There's no shot I can do <laughs> Billy that. Ray Brains, pull up a clock. We're, 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 we're going to put this on the internet as a short. <laughs> See, that's the problem. The problem is like, I can't do and that. And go. Uh, in 1948, a concept called the Nakba happened where a lot of Palestinians were forcibly removed or evacuated from their homes and this uh, created a sequence of events that led to the Israeli state being successfully 15 seconds launched. <laughs> uh, nowadays, uh, it's a, what do you mean? It's apartheid. 10 it's seconds. Eight, like, what? Stop. Eight. <laughs> we're going to. OK, I'm done. I'm, I'm, you got done. a lot of history no, to get no, through. No. Come on. Gaza no, Strip. Gaza can't. Strip. Gaza Strip. No, I, I would have to. I would have to <laughs> script it out. Time. I would yeah. have to script it out. Yeah, you have to script it. And also on top of that, also on top of that. You you My gave me the said worst one. Nowadays, <laughs> it went nowadays. <laughs> you 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 gave me the worst one. That's the best piece of content we've oh ever made. God. Give me the worst one. I can't I can't describe <laughs> We're it. We're putting 30 that seconds. on the internet. No, but uh, okay, with slightly you know less uh, hot dude. That issue spills over to chess. Like I, you know, I get a message in the chat um, in, in my Twitch chat, like Yo, Levy, you know, much love. Watching you from Israel for two years now. Yeah, that person writes that. For the next two minutes in, in, in Twitch, they just get like free Palestine. Yeah. Fuck you. Like, it's crazy. And Chess, yeah. Chess is not immune to that stuff either, man. Like, um, yeah, I, yeah I, mean, I get a lot of that. So I get a lot of the weird stuff too because uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I say I'm Jewish. Like, my family's <laughs> former Soviet who, Union. You know who else said that? George Santos. But no, no politics. All right, go on. <laughs> oh, did, he, did he actually say that? He oh, did. God damn George it. Santos lied about being Jewish yeah. and, and also being a. And I'm 100%. Like, my, my, my 23 and me will be like, Jew. <laughs> All right, pull it up. Like, uh, <laughs> I gotta check it. Do you know what I'm talking about, though? No, like, I have no idea. George Santos is a, is a New York uh, Republican who actually um, unseated a Democrat, like the third most important Democrat. He's like a fundraising Democrat in the party. Um, and he lied about like one so being much. Ukrainian. He lied about like his grandparents being Holocaust victims, Holocaust survivors. Uh, he lied about his name. Like he was, he was a massive comment. It was a big meme. Uh, but also he literally said he was Jewish. And, uh, and then when all of this came out that he was lying about everything, he's still in office by the way. American of course politics. he is. American politics is awesome. Did you see the video of the guy? He said, up "Oh, by? I never said I'm Jewish. I'm Jewish." Jew oh fuck! Yeah. Damn, I've been saying this for like my. But I'm actually, you know, both parents. I had a bar mitzvah. I mean, I would hope I'm Jewish. They, they put me through some shit. I had to uh, <laughs> sit there and learn all the baruch Anyway, uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, no, but uh, yeah, back to like. There's uh, obviously easier top talking points you can make 30 second content about and that shit yeah. works like it it's easy you put it on three platforms and you get impressions and people like get into it that's yeah. that's what I happened can, with chess i i used to get my editors to like chop up shit from my streams but it's probably much better if you like write it if you write it i out. write it but you also have to understand like i work monday through sunday probably about 10 hours a day and it's only on my content so i i know every video we post i my tiktok guy brings me a tiktok and i'm like no, put this in the front, chop up these three, like every day. Yeah. And, uh, and no, same. And so like, it's, I mean, I stream 10 hours a day. So no, but I imagine like after you stream, you, you can't possibly also like fix five seconds in a tick. Like someone's going to have to f make that easier for you. Yeah. I don't stream, which makes it a lot easier. I get so tired after streaming and I just, it's my last priority. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, I focus on YouTube. I, you know, some of the scripted stuff, uh, it, it really works. That's why he got into it probably. And once you get into it, you got like two friends who get into it. That's all you need because you're going to be like the alpha. You're going to beat it. Although I think that theory has been disproven. But, you know, you're going to beat your friends at chess. You're going to be like the smart one in the group. Yeah. Now everyone's playing chess. Like teachers are complaining. Kids are playing chess in school and not doing work. I what the fuck? To, <laughs> That's crazy. I, I want to put that forward to you. You're the greatest mind in chess now, or at least the most consumed. Chess content. Content. The Definitely not the best player. I, the most consumed. Chess. Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, that for sure. Why chess? Why is it so immortal? Why not checkers? Why? Well, no, pieces but, move the same. But why is, why is chess so immortal? Why is it so timeless? Why does it have this universal appeal? I, 
See, I don't know if it's always been there or we we made it in the last like three, four years. Because I think if you go back to like, let's say 2005, okay? Uh, most people learn chess when they were young, just in school, somewhere. It's in some cultures. It's just something that you do. Uh, but the truth is like, as you get older, sports, other more useful academics, uh, like the fact that if you ever wanted to paint a picture of a nerd in a movie, like they play chess. What the fuck else do they play? Yeah. There's no other game. I mean, like they play chess. They're like this yeah. weirdo, you know, they, they spend, you know, the chessboard and everything. Um, and I, I gotta, there's some bombs going off. The fuck was that? Jesus. <clears throat> Anyway. It might have been the stopwatch or something. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Uh, look, um, before I was doing any of this, like I graduated 2017, I had a stats degree. I was going to teach a little chess in New York, private lessons, and go be a, I don't know, consultant. Like I leveraged the connections I made teaching private school kids to get like an interview at Barclays, an interview at Deloitte. But like I, I never could feel like I was part of that world. I was constantly coming up short on interviews. I couldn't do all this like bullshit, you know, like uh, name your be biggest weaknesses, blah, blah, mm. blah. You do all these interview scripts in college. What's your biggest weakness? Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, Pull up the 30 second timer. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, wait, in, God, in life or in chess? Um, <laughs> that's a good, that's a good question. I think I'm, I have a massive case of overthinking and anxiety. I put thoughts into people's heads. Mm. So I will stop short you know, trying to push for opportunities for myself because I'm like, I think they have some perception of me already. Or meanwhile, like, that's just completely untrue. Or if I'm going to start talking about something to a room of people, I'm like, ah, they don't care. What was the anxiety you had before uh, approaching uh, us or coming here? Approaching you guys? Um, I think it was a little bit like we don't know each other at all. Like, yeah. I, know, I know Ludwig. Like, I'm going to go in the yard. Like, I've sat next to him chess boxing. Like, we've, you know, we've talked a little bit. Yeah. Um, that guy sucks. Yeah, we hate that guy. All right, yeah, fuck Fucking him. I'm, I'm, piece of shit. I'll, I'll, I'll talk some shit. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that dude doesn't respond to my DMs. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, Let's yeah, go. No, he's, a piece of shit. Uh, yeah. he's a piece of shit. Unless you have business opportunity, he will he will be on. Yeah, but he need, if he needs you. Yeah. Mm. Dude, I was like his best performing YouTube collab in like three months. I'm like, yo, you want to do another board game collab? He's like, yup. Air him out. <laughs> That's it. That's all that happened. Yeah. L dude, answer my DMs. I don't know which camera I'm supposed Son to look at. Sorry, I'll see yeah. him in a couple days. He's the worst. He's the worst. Son of a um, read him to filth. No, reaching out to you guys, I was like, we don't know each other. So I, yeah. I, I just I just never know. Like, we have to spend 90 minutes in a room. Is it gonna is it gonna go well? And I know you're not like the biggest, you don't have the biggest interest in chess. Yeah, so but like, I never shut the fuck up. I love talking. That, yeah. See, there you go. See, I <laughs> and it's it's going great. I think it's going great, right? Like, but <laughs> I don't know. We, we want to find out. Don't get anxious. You're a New York uh, sports fan, you get a pass from me. Yeah. Just just like as a as as a as a guy. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like that's I, like I said though, I just don't get into people's business too. Like if yeah. if if I don't get invited, I'm not gonna overstep. I don't wanna plus we're here at nine AM. I kinda feel bad. I no, thought you you no, were this is awesome. You're fun. No, I, I, I wake up early. It's just like uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of disease in this house currently, <laughs> and I'm a you know puppy dad, so it's like fucked my shit up a little bit. You have a puppy or had a he, puppy? He's one now. Yeah, he's officially out of the puppy area. You can pull up kinda. Gotham Doodle on Instagram. Oh, but let's talk about that. He doesn't really have an Instagram page, but we, we no no I'm no I'm saying like he has like five ten photos on there. It's not like a black charcoal labradoodle. Uh, Bernadoodle. So he's 25% Bernice and 75% Poodle. And you know what the weird thing about being a content creator is? No, it's Gotham Doodle. Like his Instagram page is just Gotham Doodle. I don't know if you feel this way. I felt weird getting a dog that clearly is a genetic experiment because I have horrible like allergies to animals. All, all dogs are uh, technically like that though. No, you no, know but I mean? you know, it's like, oh, you didn't rescue one? Yeah. Oh, you spend money on a dog, you fucking piece of shit? Yeah. But luckily, somehow, chess avoids this type of stuff, man. Like, you Well, don't you don't get... Yeah, you don't get canceled for dumb shit. I, I actually did... Uh, <clears throat> I, I didn't give a shit about what my uh, dog's breed was. I just wanted a big dog. And uh, lucky for me, big dogs are, uh, you know, not exactly easy to take care of. So a lot of families will get one. Aww. I basically stole mine from a little girl. No, oh. from a family that yeah, uh, we, we drove from down. Family that got this puppy, thinking like you know, oh, 
thinking that they were going to be fine yeah. to take care of a dog that's going to be like 150 pounds. That was when <laughs> fucking cute. Yeah, that was when he was like your your dog's age, like all the way at the bottom. That but now now he's fucking cute dog. He's the yeah. prettiest Bernadoodle I've ever seen. Like we've seen Bernadoodles that don't make any sense. Like their face is white, their bottom nose that's is black. That's what I've heard. Uh, I've heard that like poodle uh, breeds are like very. Um, it's like very hit or miss. But he's like gorgeous. Like yeah. he has the perfect color. I don't know how lucky we got with this with this doofus, but uh, he's great. He knows like twenty command. Like sit, paw up, off, voice, go to mommy. Like wow. yeah, he knows like go go upstairs, go downstairs, um, hush. Like we we When's taught he gonna him. Well? Start beating you in chess. That's a real question. I mean, dude, we we like yeah. My wife's like we gotta like record footage like you playing him or um yeah that stuff always does pretty well. He was awful. I mean, to raise him was the worst experience of my life. <laughs> he, was, I, he was awful in chess. No 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 okay. no yeah. Fuck him up. Him. He didn't even know the rules. Like idiot. Um, <laughs> no, he's. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I remember that. Yeah, I was complaining a lot. And people in my Twitch chat were like, why the fuck did you get a dog? You're like such an asshole. And I'm like, dude, I sleep three hours a night. Like, he shits on the floor oh. every night. I mean, every night. Oh. Tw like, twice a day, he'll just shit all over the floor. Yeah. There was a day I, I had him in it. We never created him. We had a pen, so we would isolate oh, him. that's why you fucking had some issues, dude. You got to do some crazy Probably. Shit. But we, yeah. we just kind of felt like it was, I don't know, it was it was uh, brutal on him. Uh, but we, we've penned him in an area the size of a crate. He would wake up, shit, and fall asleep next to him. Like, yeah. That's why you got to create him. So that it's like... Like literally uh, knows that like that is the area that he sleeps yeah. in and only has like the area to sleep in. But like I had a pit bull, I crate trained him and he, you know, in his more, uh, uh, in his more like stubborn days would sometimes even shit in his crate. You know what I mean? You just, and sleep in the shit. It, sometimes dogs do that. Yep. Just like, yep, yep, yep. And no, it's it was... not even, it's not even always like, oh, he had to go and that's why. The thing I have, the issue I have right now with Kaya is, and she's like, she's a mutt. I haven't gotten the DNA test results back yet, but, uh, you know, she's like part Tibetan Mastiff, very stubborn breed, uh, unfortunately, and very independent, very smart, but incredibly stubborn. Goes outside, doesn't fucking poop. Yep. Was fine the first couple of days, was pooping outside. I was like, oh my God, this dog's brilliant. Like, it's going to be so easy. It's going to be a breeze. Now, goes outside, plays, comes inside, takes a shit inside the house, yep. looking right at me. I'm like, what are you doing? You know yep. this is wrong. Yep. This is immoral. Yeah. But yeah. And and she's just like, yeah, fuck you. What are you going to do about it, bitch? Pick up my shit right now. Dude, I, I lie, po Farley potty trained in like two weeks. Yeah. Really? Some, what, it, it's very hit or miss. Some dogs are just like that. He's a little <clears throat> dickhead, but he was he's super smart. Yeah. Our dog is is super smart. I, I just I don't know if he was an idiot the first like <laughs> eight months of his life or if he was pretending, but dude, yeah, I mean he he did a lot of the same stuff. And I mean basically there was like my, my wife went away for a month back home uh, and uh, I was raising this this bozo, like just me and him. Oh, that's the hardest, dude. And, yeah, I was like, yo, like we're beefing. Like you are like the tenant I can't evict. I mean, he would follow me around the house. I would be doing something. He would get his paws like onto a surface that's not the floor. Yeah. Piss. Like yeah. because he thought it was a pee pad. So anything I had on the ground, he would just go and he's just pissing. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> yo, I'm about to f I'm gonna just leave, man. I'm gonna just leave you food. Like I'm gone. Like, this <laughs> yeah. is Stan sent Oh my dude, like, I know, I know yeah. exactly that feeling. Yeah. It's just you, you, this is like blood boiling rage that you find yourself in because you're like, I'm trying so fucking hard right now to like, yep. to like fix this problem. Yep. And you are just so uncooperative. You yep. fucking shit. Oh man. Yeah. Now, now, now he's much, he's adorable. Um, I mean, every guest, like he's the friendliest dog I've probably ever seen in my life. So yeah. He's, he's great now. It's the best. My grandparents now every day I'm like dog pics. Yeah. Dog pigs. They're like, what about you? Send a photo of, of you and Lucy. I'm like, all right, here, dog pigs. Now, <laughs> dogs like You guys are trading up. photos? Yeah. <laughs> I uh, like that. Um, my grandparents are not very fond of dogs. I'm surprised that your grandparents from the old world are, are they, they good never, with dogs. They, they weren't. Oh. And they didn't know if they were going to like him. They were very scared. They didn't want to babysit for a prolonged period of time. But he grows on everybody. Like, he, he grew yeah. on my in-laws, too. They were like, oh, he's, like, too hyper. Three, four days, like, they left. They're like, yeah, how's, how's Benji? Yeah. How's he doing? 
That's that's how it is for my fan. Like when I first got my my first dog who passed away, fish. He's a pit bull. Everyone was terrified of dogs. Turkish people don't like dogs. Well, oh, they like of, cats, right? There's cats. There's, everywhere. Yeah, they love cats. And there's a lot of there's a lot of stray dogs in Turkey too. So like people just like develop a fear early on in their lives of dogs. My brother was fucking so scared. He he was wow. deathly terrified of dogs. Now he has a dog. You know what I mean? Like, and uh. Basically, my entire family, except for my grandfather, the one I talked about, the logical one, the engineer one, ex- with the exception of my grandfather, everybody loves the dog. He still thinks like, what are you doing? Dog he calculated. Just- he was like, it's too dirty. And, you know, the, the yeah. love doesn't balance out. And also, like, he's like the dogs have utility guy like, yeah. in his brain. He's <laughs> like, why is this dog not outside defending the home? Yeah. You know what I mean? Why yeah. is the dog inside? Why are you letting the dog lick you? Yep. Oh, like, my! I don't understand. I mean, that. listen, I watched my dog lick his nuts for yeah. like 30 minutes and then walk up to me. I'm like, back up, get that yeah. tongue away from me. Like yeah. you don't even, yeah, but at least he doesn't like eat his own poop. Like some, some, some yeah. female dog, female dogs eat their own poop. So yeah, well, she's, she's actually really good with that. It's just, um, like eating it or yeah, she eats it all. <laughs> she eats it so there's right no up poop left. Hungry. No, I, um, uh, I haven't had that issue with her yet. Okay, I'm sure that'll fucking come. I didn't up know eventually that was a too. female dog thing. Yeah, yeah it's no, I, they, male dogs do it too. It's because they have uh, like because they're too stupid still. Like when they're puppies, they smell the food in their own feces, and then they like think heard, that it's. I heard it's a totally different thing. Wait, what did you hear? I, I've heard that it's like self. Def- it's like defense, especially like the smaller the dog. It's worried that if it poops, it'll leave a scent and get hunted. Oh, oh, that's interesting. I I didn't think of it like that. But I've it. seen I've seen my trainer's Belgian Malinois try to go after his own poop, and uh, okay. I thought it was because there's like food pellets in it. You know what I mean? Particles, Maybe. so like they can't distinguish uh, between poop and food sometimes when they're really yeah. young. Sometimes it's hard to distinguish between what's good and shit. And that's why our next section is behind the paywall. It might be shit or it might be great. You'll never know until you jump into our Patreon. Yeah, ever done sign it. up. So sift through the feces and enjoy those pellets of content. Thanks for joining that's us. The worst, that's the worst segue you could have done for the Patreon. <laughs> I'm doing content. my best. Patreon.com slash fear and It's not going to be poop. It's going to be really great. And, and we'll Gotham, bring Kaya in here too. Where can we find you if they don't know of you already, which I'm sure they do? Uh, what do you have coming up? Tube. That's probably the best. I'm Gotham Chess everywhere except TikTok because I had an account on there with a very old number. Yeah, and TikTok support is uh, like <laughs> ha- is like three hamsters just like manning like a whole building. Yeah, yeah. so um, they also didn't verify me. I'm like the most followed chess channel, and they were like, "Nope." I'm like, I sent you an ID and an ID in front of my monitor, a photo in front of my monitor with my account. Like that's me, and they <laughs> were like, "Nope." Newspaper. No, no it's, it's it's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's really, really bad. bad. If you fuck up on TikTok, uh, I don't know. You got to make a new account. But it's uh, it's Gotham Chess everywhere. Um, I think probably the most exciting thing I have coming up, like for, for me personally, outside of just more digital chess stuff, is uh, a book. So basically, um, kind of like re- redefining how chess is taught in text. Mm. It's going to be like a very fun read. It's a book that if you got 15 minutes and you're tired and you're like trying to make a change and not scroll through TikToks before bed, oh, which is yeah. what I do all the time, you could read this book and you don't need another chessboard. You just read it and you go, oh shit, that was cool. I learned something. Nice. Put a bookmark and then, you What's know. What's the name of it? It's called How to Win at Chess. Uh, and then like the subtitle is The Ultimate Guide for Beginners and Beyond. But it, it comes out in October. Like, I mean, it's Love pre-order that. now, but it's, it's only coming out. The book industry is wild. That is. I learned that the hard way there's like four it's like airlines i think it's a worse monopoly than airlines actually. yeah there's it's four. uh it's the it publishers on the entire marketplace there's yeah. like there's like a couple who are you going with who'd you go uh with? penguin penguin if, but, if. but like an imprint of penguin so like it's yeah. it's a it's a smaller one that was owned by them and uh yeah i was very excited i had like a couple of big ones bidding like a bidding war I, cool. I learned yeah it was it was uh it was wild to learn about all this but it's uh the whole the whole system is kind of, it's kind of like a mafia style. Uh, they give you an advance, and then they uh, every time you sell a book, like I thought, okay, I sell a book, and you know it goes toward the advance. Yeah. No, no, you get ten percent of the share of whatever the cost was that goes to paying off the advance. So they strip you of the ninety percent of the book sale, and your ten percent is used. So it takes much longer to pay yeah. it off. So you got to sell like. A lot of mid five figures, like high, like mid, uh, low six figures, to like actually make back the advance. Yeah, so it's, damn. Yeah, it's a uh, they're they're a cartel. 
We can talk more about that behind the paywall at patreon.com slash fear and we'll see you next time. Peace. Bro, this is called market research. What are you doing? You're fucking I, up. You need to know yeah. this stuff. Yeah, but aren't they like seven? Doesn't <laughs> yeah. matter. Seven-year-olds? Dude, uh, this is an iPad kid. Seven-year-olds have access to the internet. Uh, they have access to every... Yeah. 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 Yeah, you better be they're out there. They're already brawling with the best of them. Oh, yeah, you, you, yeah. Better, you better be out there fucking writing some Google Gaga ass like TikTok yeah. videos for seven year olds, dude. dude. I, I'm telling you, I'm gonna write a book like yeah. here's, for, here's for babies. Here's a, which chess pieces taste the best? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, awesome. Oh my God. You should do that. Yeah. I should. I yeah, should which like, one, <laughs> yeah, which one's the best binky? Come on, man. <laughs> Based, let him oh cook. Yeah, yeah, like seven the seven-year-olds with their like. When he said that about the rook, I felt that. Yeah.